All right, folks, <clears throat> show you some more bling here. Um, of course, as you know, me not being able to leave well enough alone, um, I had said in my prior video, and I'll link that here, um, uh, for the uh, LED, sequential LED rear, um, uh, uh, sequential LED project that I uh, created, that I wasn't really happy with, um, you know, the the uh, individual pixelation of each LED, and you can see those here. It's kind of hard to show, Let's see if that's uh, zoomed in, but um, uh, they're fairly bright. They're little tiny things, you can see by my fat thumb. Um, they're quite tiny, only a about five, four or five millimeters around, and these are actually down-facing LEDs, and I did that on purpose because uh, when the trunk is closed, they're inside the trunk lid, and they shine down, and they cast a glow, um, uh, um, onto the essentially the paint surface then then obviously out outwards for to the rear of the car but you still see the individual LEDs and I don't like that and I want to fix that so taking a bit of a leap of faith um, show you this where uh, it's a, essentially a silicon LED light tube um, I can barely see it there but there's a sort of an opaque layer um, that the LEDs shine down into and then outwards um, this you can ignore that's if you had them going a different way uh, and the rest is um, uh, basically you you know not the light will not shine through the white area of that strip. Um, this is what it looks like in its original form. They give you string, to pull the lily through, and you can kind of see the channel there. That the LED um, slides through this actual light strip. I've linked it in my um, blog. Um, actually, isn't really made for this uh, particular LED strip, but the um, you know, the width of the strip does fit in there, but the LEDs kind of bulge a bit. So I actually had to carefully cut and I cut along, I cut along this, you can see it here, I cut along the, uh, the silicon line in, and I'll show you this in a minute, and this guy, and ran the LED strip through there because that was the only way without, you know, doing it without snapping off these delicate individual, uh, LED pixels. Um, so, um, but my solution to that was you can see here is this is the end product this is going to go into the mx5 um has the led strip in there and i've actually just used electrical tape and then i sealed up the ends of it um and i'm going to also demonstrate <clears throat> that to you in a few seconds uh but i did want to talk briefly about this i love this stuff i've been dying to try to find something that um you know sticks really well um you know to to both these are 3d printed clips that i'm going to use to mount uh, inside the trunk lid, the light channel, uh, essentially stick it to the car. And uh, it's 3M VHB. Uh, I know that other people are like, yeah, duh, that's <laughs> it's been out there for years, but I only really, I've had this actually laying around for a while. I never really knew the value of it until I just uh, uh, started reading about it in the past like couple of months. So um, this stuff sticks great um, to the actual, in, you know, inside area of the car. I, I suspect it works well in, you know, uh, if, if it gets wet or whatever. But all of this stuff essentially um, is in dry areas. So I'm going to use these two. Uh, and I've also linked the 3D files for these guys. I've actually got two different types. One type is made for the thickness of the LED channel, which I think is um, five millimeters, four to five millimeters. And the other one is going to be meant to... Um, you can barely see it here, hold on to the channel, or sorry, the wiring um, that I run through the trunk um, of the car or the lid uh, and then down inside the trunk just to channel it and keep it secure. <clears throat> so without much more ado, I will fire this up and let you see what it looks like. I'll also do um, some comparison videos as well. I'm gonna turn the light off here, get a better view of this. Some comparison videos. Um, just to show you the difference, um, it, it's not awesome, but it is a lot better than um, the original strip where the, the, the LED does blend uh, a bit better in this guy. Um, so you don't really see individual pixels. And I'm sure from, you know, as you walk away from the vehicle, you know, you're, this is a close up view, but when you walk away, this won't be that obvious and it'll just appear as a nice single light tube um, with different colors. And as you've seen in my other videos, I'm just using the demo mode um, of, of the strip uh, that just goes to the different uh, modes that I have uh, available to me uh, when, when uh, using the strip. So anyway, I'm going to again uh, mount this to the car. 
Um, again, you should be seeing some videos or should have seen already seen some, uh, you know, you know, picture in picture, some videos of comparison of this versus what the existing uh, strip looks like. Um, obviously, I haven't mounted this yet. I'm going to do that and then I'll do a video and then I'll post it here and blah, 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 blah. Um, you be the judge. Anyway, I would love to hear your comments. Um, please like and subscribe. Could use the support. Um, anyway, have a great day. Hope you uh, found this useful. Before you go, just found this really awesome watch display, an IPS display. Um, stay tuned. I'm going to look at trying to see if I can, again, take this to the next level and integrate this into the MX5 uh, LED project.